Today I have a news update on Diablo 4 confirming information on their beta release, some other information along that line, as well as other information you may not be aware of like is Diablo 4 going to be pay to win or will it crash and burn like Diablo Immortal did? I will be answering the timeless question of have they learned from their mistakes with Diablo Immortal as well as many other things. Just want to note what you're watching in the background is an opening from the game. Just wanted to give you some video while I give you this information. So let's jump right into it. It's been a long road, but we're finally just months away from the long awaited release of Diablo 4. And as revealed today by IGN FanFest, we're getting a taste of gameplay even sooner. Well, we all knew that Diablo 4 is going in to have an open beta next month with pre-order early access buyers getting to play early on March 17th through March 19th and the general public getting access from March 24th through March 26th and yes if you pre-order you get to play on both those dates. We've learned this at IGN FanFest in an interview with game director Joe Shealy, who also showed us the opening cinematic for Diablo 4. That is what you're watching in the background. If the central character you're watching in that cinematic does not look familiar, surprise, that's because it's a custom character made in the character creator. Custom characters will feature in Diablo 4 cinematics as which there are apparently multiple in the beta alone to check out and even more across Diablo 4's 30 plus hours of campaign and side quests. Just want to say a beta that gives you 30 plus hours of campaign and side quests that is really unheard of so props to them for releasing so much content with their beta and I'm assuming to get very good detailed information so their launch comes out right. So tired of games crashing and burning at launch. Moving on, the beta consists of a significant look of the game, per Shirley said. Both the prologue and the first act taking place in the Fractured Peaks zone, with characters able to level all the way up to level 25 and all main and side quests in that area available. Very impressive. For early access pre-order owners, progress in the beta will transfer between the two beta weekends. So you play on we the first beta, you get all that progress for the second. However, the beta progress obviously is not going to carry over to the final game. I think we all saw that one coming can't fucking farm it out and start off with a jump would be a little bit unfair. Diablo 4 full release in June 6 and is coming to PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC. I think we all knew that. But now let's get into some bonus information on Diablo 4. So Blizzard has confirmed that they aren't going to be doing monetized pay to win content. You are going to have the battle pass but it doesn't look like anything acquired in the battle pass for the most part is going to give an advantage. It's a lot more customizations and low level stuff. So it doesn't look like the battle pass is really a pay to win advantage. So it is really nice to see one of well, my personal biggest concern with Diablo's floor release. If they were going to go the way of Diablo Immortal and have the game crash and burn because it was just ridiculous or had they learned and would they actually make the Diablo 4 not pay to win and it looks like that is the path they have chosen and that's all the information I have for you right now on Diablo 4 if you like the video leave a like comment share it helps others find the video I hope this helped